Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. It looks like Isabelle has a message for me. Okay, all set. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, Mayor Viola? There's a new live video opening up in town today. You know, I'm a huge fan of the artist K.K. Slider. Do you think he might come to Brooks and perform? Oh my gosh, if he does come, you just got to go see him. He is so dreamy. Viola, I hope you can make it out to a concert sometime soon. Okay, so uh, Club LOL is now open, but it's a nighttime club, so can't do anything about that right now. And also, I need to put stuff in my dresser drawer, so I'll be right back. Yeah, and I know what this is. This is the trophy that I got yesterday. I'm still a little bit mad that I got second place in the fishing tourney. That should not have happened. Certificate, read. To Viola, congrats on getting second place just the other day. Please take this as proof that you had a very large fish in the fishing tourney. It was pretty gravy. Yep, from Chip. Thanks, Chip. I guess. Yeah, and just like any other piece of furniture, you can display it in your house, but I'm not going to because why would I display a second place trophy? Yep, so this is where Club Lowell is. I don't know if anything gets placed here. It looks like there should be something here. But anyway, let's go in. Yep, so this is what the uh, live venue looks like. And um, I don't have any groids on me, but if you want to, you can come up on stage here and you can replace the groids up here to make different sounds and stuff like that. They're active while KK um, performs his live shows, but let me go ahead and talk to you. Hello. Come on now, you can't come in while I'm in the middle of clean- Ah, Miss Mayor, it's just you. Thanks for all the help you gave me. Thanks to you, I was able to open up my very own live venue. I'm getting things set up at the moment, but we have some sort of, of, of music event going on every night. Oh, it's every night? For some reason I thought it was only Thursday nights. Hey, starting at 8pm tonight, we'll be mixing your favorite hits all night long during our DJ party time. More importantly, what do you think of the place? Isn't the stage amazing? I was actually pretty picky about how I wanted it to be. I spent a lot of money on it just to get it the way I like it. It's really an amazing place, huh? It would have been nice to perform on a stage like that, like the one in here just once. You might not know this about me, but a long time ago I used to get up and perform on stage too. Not as a musician though, I was a comedian. I retired a while back, but even now when I see a stage I can just feel it calling to me. Drunk, it says. I suppose that's why even now I sometimes get the urge to share my old jokes with people. Ah, uh, if you're interested, I wouldn't mind showing you my stuff during the afternoons when no one's here. I couldn't ask you to pay me, but I wouldn't turn down a nice treat. Any food pretty much works on me. So that's how we'll do this then. Feel free to stop by any time. So yeah, that's the reason why I have my bundle of lemons on me. Actually, can I take these apart? Yeah, I can take these apart. Um, because you can give him a bundle of fruit. Or, I think if you give him individual ones, you can get him to perform more than once, but I'm not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and test it. Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? Um, I brought a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What did you bring me? I brought you this. Okay, now I can give him one. Oh, what do we have here? Lemon? Don't mind if I do. Well, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Oh, that's right. I promised to show you one of my old jokes, didn't I? I guess if there's anything I can do to make you happy, that be it. Alright, I have to get ready first, so you just wait right here a sec. And here we go, shrunk stand-up comedy routine. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My showmanship joke is just a thing to cure what ails you. You know, back when I first made my debut, there was a catchphrase I used to use during every show. It was back when all I could think about was getting people to actually remember my name. 
Today, I'll share that catchphrase with you, so listen carefully. Keep your eyes on me and remember it. Are you ready? Here I go. Look at the hunk. His name is the Shrunk. Oh, didn't win me any fans for some strange reason. <laughs> That was my showmanship joke. What did you think of it? My comedic style is rather original. I mix a short story with a punchline to create a reaction joke. I retired a while back, but I think my jokes are still relevant, so I'd love for you to try them out too. Say, I'll give you something else too. You'll really love this. Thank you. This is a world famous joke book. You should always keep it close and use it to record the jokes I tell you. Plus, you can press the cat symbol on the lower screen and use them whenever you feel like it. I have tons of other jokes to show you, so stop by often to see new ones to widen your comedic range. Yeah, so now on the bottom screen I have this little cat symbol thing down here, and if I click on it, I've recorded the joke that he told me. So now I can use um, the little emotes that you've seen my um, citizens use. So that one is called showmanship. So let me see if I can give him another lemon and if he'll perform again or if he does, only does one performance per day. If you want to see him perform, just sneak in here sometime during the afternoon. Okay, so I guess I have to come back later then. Or he only does one performance per day. Again, I don't remember. But yeah, if you bring him a treat, he'll do a show. Sometimes he does repeat his jokes. Um, I have gotten that a couple times. So sometimes you might end up wasting a session with him. So, listen, I, I've decided I'm gonna get out of this town. I mean, it would be lovely if I could stay in Brooks forever. No, wait, scratch that. Girls like me, we just gotta run wild. I'm sure you understand. You usually seem to get me. I'm leaving on the 26th of this month. You gonna be okay with that? So, hmm. Please stay. Who are you? Hmm. I want to let Renee go. I know I said yes last time when she rejected me. But I think I actually do want to um, replace Renee. Renee is great. I like Renee. But I've also realized that I would like to show off more of the um, citizens that you can get in this game. So keeping the same ones aren't going to do that. So who are you? I get it. You're playing it cool. You're trying your best not to cry. It's okay. Do not stop blubbering. It's not like we can never visit each other. Well, I gotta go play in my big move. See you around, buddy. Okay, so Renee will be replaced after the 26th, so four days from now. Oh, hey. Wow, they tracked the at ants that quickly? Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. As well. What's that? I caught a fly. Quite the buzz kill for it. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Gotcha. I caught an ant. I'm exuberant. <laughs> well, not really. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. But I don't have any room for it. Should I swap something out for it? Yes. Um. I'll swap out um, my bushel of lemons. And fly and the ant. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Hoot hoot. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? No. Nope. Then please enjoy the rest of your visit. Okay, let me go upstairs just to see if the gift shop has a silver fishing rod yet. Probably doesn't. Nope. If you are interested in one of my screaming deals, I'm selling a lovely love seat. It's yours for the heh, low, low price of only 4,000 bells. Want it? No, I don't. I see. 
What if I lower the price a ton? How about 1,200 bells? Hmm. Actually, well, now that you're willing to knock the price down, maybe I will take it. Sure. Yay, Snuffle! I knew you'd want it. Here you go, Snuffle. Okay, I didn't realize you could, um, haggle with your citizens when they ask you to buy something from them. That's cool and good to know. But I'm gonna end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.